Well, hello, welcome back. Long time no see. Um, I'm thinking about starting updating again, and after several months of absence, I have lots of projects to share with you. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm glad, glad to be back. I did want to mention that um, even though I've been taking time off doing video updates, I've still been creating because that's one of the things I enjoy doing um, with my downtime, and especially when it's something that can practically help my family, like making clothes for the kids. It's a joy to um, you know, be able to enjoy my time making the things and then see my kids wear them and know that um, they have better fitting pants because I made them for them. <laughs> um, and my, yeah, it's like sometimes you need downtime that, you know, you're just reading a book and it's not necessarily positively adding to um, your family's livelihood or well-being but uh other times it's nice to be able to sit down and do do something enjoyable but that also you can see the um see the fruits of it um so right now speaking of pants for my kids uh i i've started sewing pants for the girls mainly because they are tall and skinny and um most pants out there don't don't fit them well. So uh, I've got the J. Lee um, Eleanor jeans pattern, which I've used for myself um, and uh, really liked it. I'll share those with you at some point. And then um, I've made two pairs of pants for the girls using that pattern and they really like the pants. So they've asked for more pants and they wanted rainbows embroidered on the pockets. So I decided to go above and beyond and um, I did full scenes of you've got Noah's Ark up on the <laughs> up on the mountain and the rain clouds in the background um and so there's going to be one pair of pants in this blue stretch denim and then one pair of pants in the white stretch corduroy and then so the the opposite pocket will have the dove with the olive branch um so that was the embroidery made these pants take a lot longer um, I've had the fabric cut out for, um, at least a month, at least, and for some reason, knowing that I had to embroider the pockets before assembling the rest of it, that meant it just went into my stack of works in progress, and I had the design sketched out on the pockets, they were all ready to go, it just took me a long time to get around to actually embroidering, and then, um, once I actually started the embroidery, it only took maybe 45 minutes to get the embroidery done on both pockets. Um, maybe an hour, I, but that's un uninterrupted time. Um, <laughs> if I embroider while the kids are awake, I don't, you have to you know, take off half of the amount of time it took for interruptions and, you know, being distracted. Um, but yeah, the, my reasons for putting it off were I feel like I always build up things in my head and it's like, it's going to take forever. So I'm not going to start it until I have forever to work on it, which we don't have forever. So you might as well just get started. Um, so now I have the pockets done, which means um, I just need to sew the rest of them together. And I learned from the last two pairs that I sewed that if I am, if I can get to work at a quick pace, um, now that I know what I'm doing, I've put, I've assembled these pants four times total. So I, I have a good understanding of how the pattern goes together. I don't need to stop and watch directions. Um, I can just zip through it. And I get, if I sit down and just sew, I think it took me two hours to do the last pair of pants. Um, so now I just need to, one of, one of these days, um, one of these days this week, hopefully, during nap time, I'll have everything set out and I can just sit down and sew, sew, sew and get, get one pair of pants whipped out. And then if I get one finished, then the other girl's going to be asking for her pants. And so I'll have to, I'll ha have to do it two days in a row to get them all sewn up. And then I'll be able to share with you their rainbow pants. Um, but I'm excited to have your know, nice looking pants for them that fit well. It's, um, yeah, it's just nice to have pants that fit and aren't just baggy and falling off or way too short and always look like you're wearing pedal pushers or capris because your legs are too skinny for for the longer sizes but 
So there's that. Um, but yeah, we've been working on doing some gardening this year. I'm excited about getting some things growing and the kids are old enough to really um, either be of assistance and be really interested or they're just old enough to not need constant supervision when we're outside. So that's been um, really nice now that the weather's just getting a little bit warmer where we don't have to bundle up in snow gear to go outside. So we started some seeds inside and the kiddos actually did really good. I was, I was impressed. Um, we got, uh, we planted several of these little pots and only one of them did not grow. And I didn't do any of the planting. The I talked the kids through it. Um, and all, so all of them, all three of them, they're all, all their little pots except for one, um, grew. And I don't think that pot was their fault. The seeds we're using are anywhere from three years to 10 years old. So it's probably just old seeds. But uh, I'm really excited to get those transferred outside once we, this is where I have to be patient because I want to just get them outside, but it's much too cold at night and then they would die. And then I'd get really discouraged and not want to be gardening again. But uh, yeah, so I have, I have high hopes um, for gardening. I'm trying to kind of temper in my hopes to have it, have my expectations be more about the enjoyment of gardening and teaching my kids about, you know, how the how the soil works how the sun and the rain work um and how plants grow and then they produce fruit and you know vegetables for us and so i want it to be more i'm trying to make sure that i'm more interested in the enjoyment and the learning aspect of it rather than having visions of oh we're gonna have so much food and i'm gonna be able to can a whole bunch of stuff and we'll be set i'm never gonna have to buy tomatoes from the store again um it's i want it to be more about the process and if we do get a lot of viable fruit and it's more than the kids can eat day to day, then maybe we'll um, do canning and processing and keep it for fall. But even if we just get one or two tomatoes that the kids can enjoy, that would be cool. Um, so trying to have reasonable expectations so that it's enjoyable and I'm not stressing about it or making the kids stress about it because um, that's... That's not the purpose of gardening. Um, but yeah, so that's my quick little hello. Glad to be back. I am not going to pin myself down to a consistent schedule. Um, maybe in the future that will happen, but right now it's just going to be a, as I feel like it, I'll update you on what's going on and I'll try to get a little more organized on sharing all the makes I've done in the last it's been like six months since I last posted probably. So um, I've got several garments that I um, hopefully will share with you and uh, kind of just do quick reviews on the different patterns I was able to use. A lot of free patterns um, that were uh, fabulous and uh, I've been sewing up a lot of different fabrics too. So you want to, yeah, just talk about that. So I will see you again sometime.